Namaste and welcome back to Health, Home and Lifestyle. I'm in studio today with Kate Gale and Janina Cruz who represent Guam Cocos Crossing to talk about the upcoming race this weekend. So can you guys tell us a little bit about what exactly is Cocos Crossing? Sure, Cocos Crossing is an ocean swim. It's the longest ocean swim here on Guam, both lengthwise but also years. It's been around for, well, it's actually all the way back from the 80s, but in its current state, it's been around over 27 years. Um, it uh, oh, has many different courses on it. This year, we've introduced a, a new course, a 10K and a 5K, um, but it also has a 2.5 mile swim, which is uh, Cocos to Marizzo and a Neptune swim, which we just introduced uh, recently, which allows swimmers to use their fins, mask, and snorkel. Okay, and of course, this uh, race is in the beautiful village of Maleso. So if you haven't been, it's uh, picturesque throughout the swim. You know, you can see Cocos Island, you can mm -hmm. see the Mariso Pier, and it, there's a lot of different people, so you get to meet a lot of people. Um, what should people know about what to do before if they've never done this race? How do they prepare going into race day? Well, I would say that you would have to swim all your laps in the water, either in a pool or in the ocean to get familiar with the currents and such. But it is a fun race and I do recommend it to people. So definitely try it out one day, make it your bucket list. Mm -hmm. And of course, Janina has a lot of experience because she's actually the coach for is it the Guam National Swim Team. Yes, the Guam National Swim Team. And as well, um, I am a coach for the Monica Athletic Club, which is also one of the teams hosting the event. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so one thing I have to say about this race is that it's also, uh, it's definitely an experience because you're out in the open water. Right. And when you're out there, of course, there's all the things that you can't control. The weather, uh, people always say there are jellyfish throughout the course. Mm -hmm. Some people even think, uh, you know, sometimes they see different animals, mm -hmm. um, sea animals. Tell us a little bit about your experience. Mm -hmm. Well, throughout the years I've done it, I've only seen a manta ray once but I do see the wildlife of fish out there. So I've heard people see turtles and as well as manta rays, but I don't know what else is out there other than the, yeah. the wildlife. No, it's, it's, a, it's actually a really great swim in that it's a, a great introductory ocean swim with the Neptune and with the 2.5 mile for somebody who's first doing an ocean swim, they've done their, their training and they wanna get out there and try it, it's excellent. Uh, you know, it's an uh, ocean swim, but it's still, we've got the reef protecting us with just a little opening, so it's wonderful like that. But now that we also have the 5K and 10K, it's a little bit more of an endurance uh, race as well. So those that are more trained, that wanna get out there, that have some experience, we also have that. And I understand that's one of the shifts um, beginning this year. You guys are also pushing to maybe in the future turn this into a, a qualifier? Absolutely. So it's, it's growing. It's growing in popularity. It's growing in the organization itself, just, you know, in terms of how we've refined it over the years. But we've added this year uh, the 5K and the 10K. And that's really for those that are international swimmers, but also swimmers that are aspiring uh, to international competitions like the Olympics. It's a, we're working, you know, towards becoming a qualifier. And we're really... Um, uh, hope to do that over the next few years. Okay, but don't let that intimidate you because <laughs> I actually did the, the Neptune I swim know, last yeah, year. So yeah. that's perfect, you know, if you maybe like swimming but you don't train every day, yes. you just, you like snorkeling. So in that right. race, you're able to put on the snorkels and the fins. So it makes it a little bit easier. So I did that one last year. So how did you feel? How it was, was it? It was so much fun. Honestly, I had uh -huh. so much fun there. I saw I met a lot of different people, my friends from Guam. Also, a lot of people from Off Island, I That's know, right, actually right. flew in specifically for yeah. the race. And last last year, we almost had, I think, uh, not quite 50-50, but a huge portion uh, that come in. We get them from Hong mm -hmm. Kong, Korea, Japan, Australia, all around the region. So it makes it and, really uh, fun. I thought it was interesting because people were all putting on Vaseline. And I was asking, <laughs> why are you guys putting on Vaseline? And they're like, oh, so you don't get stung by the jellyfish. But yeah. luckily, I didn't get stung. Yeah, no. So. There are, there are, there can be. There's mm -hmm. certainly, I mean, in the waters around Guam, everything that's in the ocean that we have around Guam, normally you could, you could find mm -hmm. there. And so, just to be prepared, um, you know, there might be a few uh, stings here and there for those. Um, but last year we just did just a couple, but majority uh, didn't have any stings. Yeah. But you, we always be prepared. We're just honestly, uh, mm -hmm. it's in the ocean, so yeah. you can run into. Things. And then of course there were also vendors um, at the event. So afterwards we had some shave ice, mm -hmm. uh, a mm -hmm. lot of picture opportunities. Also, so when does the registration close for people who are interested in um, participating in this year's race? Um, our registration closes tomorrow night. So Wednesday. Uh, May 24th, just so we know, uh, tomorrow night, 11.59 p.m. We do it, it's online, so if you go onto our website, you can click and it, it takes you online and you can register, it's uh, super easy. Okay, yeah. and I know there are also some um, prizes for some of the swimmers, I guess, 
uh, if they mm -hmm. win, is it a raffle mm -hmm. or first place? Yeah, so I don't know if you want to talk. Well, we have, um, so we, for everybody, everybody who participates, they get their finisher, finisher medal. And it's really nice. It's a lay. It's made out of wood and, and shell. So everybody gets a finisher. Those that place in their different divisions, so there's for the 5 and 10K, uh, for all the male and the female and the different age genders, you get um, uh, a medal. And then we also have the trophies for the overall. So those are our winners. But then we also have raffles. And this year, um, one of our uh, platinum sponsors, so we got Bank of Guam, uh, Gresco, um, Nauru Air, Nauru Air, and um, who's our, uh, our our main uh, platinum sponsors? But Air Nauru or Nauru Airlines uh, is giving a tickets for our, our top raffles. All right, thank you so much. Anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up? Well, I just want to say, in addition, you know, this is a great swim, but it's also really safe environment for those that want to start out. We get the great support from uh, GFD, GPD, we have the Coast Guard, and as well as Alapang Beach Club help us coordinate. So we have kayakers out there, we've got all the different uh, safety out there. So uh, especially those starting out, it's a really uh, safe environment. And uh, we do just want to thank, we had a, a score of um, different uh, sponsors that helped us out, and we do uh, want to thank all of our sponsors, which you see on our ad, you see all of our different sponsors. So. All right, well, that race is going to be a lot of fun again happening this weekend. Well, stay tuned. We'll have more health, home, and lifestyle after the break.